What's up guys? It's your boy Sasquatch. How are you guys doing today? We are back with some more Ark Survival Evolved. Sitting on my pretty Pteranodon that I still haven't named because y'all haven't given me names. Doing some barrel rolls. Man, those are awesome to do. I recently just figured that out, guys. Don't laugh at me. I forgot that you could do alt attack. And I'm so happy that I figured out that the Pteranodon does barrel rolls because I thought they didn't add that feature in mobile. Anyway, guys, so I know a lot of you know how to use God Console and level something up super, super high. But I get probably, I don't know, several comments daily for people asking me to do a video how to level up a creature, you know, past whatever, two, three hundred. They don't know how to do it. And sometimes I try to explain in comments, sometimes they get it, sometimes they don't. So I told someone yesterday that I would make a video how to level up a dinosaur super super high and that way this should solve all the issues of people asking and this will tell everyone how to do it so i wanted to go find a uh, tapahara how you pronounce it i don't have one yet that or a quest so we're gonna go over by the red obelisk and see if we can find one so i will see y'all there in a second once we have found a tapahara a quest heck maybe even another tarandon if we don't find anything whatever we can find for me to knock out throw some biotoxin on, and let's we'll level that sucker up as high as we can, guys. Well, not as high as we can, because I don't want to sit there for, you know, an hour hitting the level up target button. But uh, I'll see y'all in a few seconds. A few inches later. All right, guys. So I didn't find a Tapahara, didn't find a Quetz, but I did find a Dire Bear, and Dire Bears are insanely OP no matter what in vanilla whatever you use them for they're just awesome i love dire bear so i figured hey let's go ahead and time a dire bear and let's make it a super super high level dire bear so let's kind of fly my bird up here so he doesn't you know oh god okay y you can get attacked for a second it it's fine it's fine oh wait can he reach him he might not be able to reach him let me shoot you come here oh uh, seriously you're, you're you're gonna move right when i go to shoot you all right, that's one dart, maybe two or three darts. Let's find out. That's two darts. Hope he doesn't start running away. I th well, let's find out. That's three. Come on. How many darts does this guy take? Oh, there he goes. Now he's running. Got him. That should be it. Is that it? Is that it? Yes. We have knocked. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. Okay. Now we knocked him out. Okay. Let's get my bird. I need, I need some meats off of him. There's some berries or something. All right. Let's turn fly off so we can make him land. Okay. Now, the first thing I do, guys, whenever I'm making something a super, super high level is I go... Oh, wrong thing. I go to the free crafting and I get 100 biotoxin. And then I'll go put 100 biotoxin on them. And then I turn the speed down to 25%. And then... Some people will do five or six biotoxin and just kind of watch it over time. I just basically spam it. I just put like 50 on them. That way you know they're not going to wake up. You know it's the, the like everything's going to be okay, basically. And then it's at 25% and you just start spamming. Level up target, guys. And it'll show on the screen that you're only like at 35, 36, whatever. But if I go, look, I'm already at 70. I'm just spamming the crap out of it. And you can literally... Oh, God. He's going to screw up our team. Seriously? Seriously? Seriously, dude? I guess I can just go kill target. All right. Well, he screwed up our team. So now it's only going to gain whatever, a few levels. But that's okay. We can just keep hitting level of target. It's not a big issue whenever you're doing it this way. It's not like when you're trying to tame in vanilla um, or without mods or god console. Basically, you're just not going to get that big... Um, you're not going to get that big level boost whenever you do tame. It's going to be a lot smaller, which is fine. You just have to hit the level up button target or level up target a few more times than normal. So I'm going to sit here and spam this guy till about, I don't know, four or five hundred. And I'll, I'll come back in whenever I got him there. And then basically all we're going to do is feed him meat or berries, whatever. I don't remember what he takes. And then we'll tame him, guys. So I will see y'all here in a few seconds. Oh, also, I always use... Um, the soothing bomb, it's not necessary, but it makes them take less bites. So even though they're super, super hungry, um, 
and it, they tame super, super quick whenever you do it this way, even without Soothing Bomb. I still use a Soothing Bomb because it literally tames them with one bite. It takes me less food or berries, whatever. I just use it because I have the Amber to spend, so I use it regardless. You don't have to use it, guys. I just do it every time. But I will see y'all here in a few seconds whenever I'm done leveling this guy up, and we will tame him, saddle him, and see how good he is. All right, guys, we got him to level 634. He's going to gain 247 levels on tame. Taming effectiveness is only 78% because, again, he got hit by the terror bird. Now, I don't remember if you can tame this guy with berries also. I, I really don't remember. I didn't grab kibble for him, so I'm going to drop that. Let's go ahead and throw some berries in and see if he tames off of berries. Okay, he is taming. So we'll go ahead and turn the speed 100%. See, it does go super fast, guys. I And this is with a Soothing Bomb. So Kibble is still definitely the best thing to use because, see, I'm losing a couple levels. Not a big issue when they're this high. But he is level 879. Awesome, awesome level. Let's go look at his stats, guys. Okay, come here, little guy. Actually, let's turn him to neutral first. And then he's got 9,000 health, 6,000 stamina. 3,500 oxygen, which makes him slim really fast. A lot of food, holy crap. Um, 2,200 weight, and then 946% melee damage, and 226% movement speed. Nice, guys. That is an awesome, awesome tame. Um, let's have them both follow me. We're going to get him a saddle real quick. Um, where's my saddle? There's my tannery. We'll see if we can place this down anywhere, guys, and get them a saddle. Oh. Oh, oh, right there. All right, let's get the Dire Bear a saddle. Where's the Dire Bear? Di there it is, yeah. Except, did I get the Dire Bear? Yeah, I got the Dire Bear. Pick this back up. And we'll throw the saddle on him. Okay, now something to note, guys. Whenever you tame something above level 449 or 449 and above you cannot put any extra levels into him like if i go try to level him up more it's not going to add any levels see there's no more levels to add to him if you want to be able to pump up a certain stat you need to level them up to like 200 250 then tame them and then you can put 60 levels into them but then you will never be able to go any higher than 449 so it's just something to think about guys but if you pump them to level 1000 2000 3000 it doesn't matter they're going to be so op it, it honestly does not matter but let's see how fast this guy is can i get on you See, and that's why a lot of reason people don't pump a whole bunch of biotoxin is see how my screen is flashing. It's it's because I pumped a whole bunch of biotoxin into him. And basically, until I re-log, it's going to keep doing that, which it doesn't really bother me. But let's put a collar on him. Now he's got 9,000. He's got almost 10,000 health now. Um, let's go ahead and heal him up. And let's go see if we can find something. Um, are you on neutral? I can leave him here as long as he's on neutral. He's on passive. Let's put him on neutral. I'll come get you later, buddy. Nothing's going to kill him. Trust me. Well, I guess we can tell him follow us. Let's just have him follow. Alright, let's go find something to attack, guys. Holy crap, he's fast. And see how much damage this guy does. One hit. Not bad. Although that was something that's low level. Not very high. Alright, let's go kill all these things. Man, he just runs through things, guys. Runs through them. One hit everything. Let's do this Carno right here. One hit the Carno. Nice. Man, I love the Dire Bears, guys. Dire Bears are so insane. God, they're awesome. Anyway, guys, that is how you make your mount a super, super high level. Look at him chomp. He's an angry bear. Angry bear. Can you stand up on your legs for me? Stand up on your legs for me. There you go. Look at him. Look at him, guys. Anyway, guys, that is all I have for you today. As I said before, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Smash that like button if you're enjoying the content, guys. And as always, take it one day at a time. Peace, guys. That I'm at an all time.